spread out along the shores of Chickamauga Lake, the Bear Trace at Harrison Bay is a beautiful golf course. Towering pines and hardwood trees line the fairways, while water challenges golfers on 12 holes. But that's where a comparison to most other golf courses ends. But it's just the picturesque beauty of this golf course. Be able to see things that you're probably not gonna see on other golf courses. Wild turkey, the deer and, and the population that we have. And of course, see a bald eagle flying overhead. Don't know many other golf courses that are out there that have that. Under the watchful eye and leadership of course superintendent Paul Carter, Harrison Bay has become a shining example of how a golf course can challenge players while being environmentally friendly. Last year we won the uh, Golf Digest Green Star Award for an outstanding environmental practices. It was the first time that they had ever offered it to a uh, public golf course and that was across the entire United States. And then we also won the uh, Golf Course Superintendents Association uh, Environmental Leaders in Golf Award. We won the, uh, the overall public and we won the overall award. The purchase of seven electric mowers saved over 9,000 gallons of fuel and created 175 days of emission-free operation. That's over 180,000 pounds of carbon not polluting our air. Trust me, this is not your average lawnmower. The operation is simple, the results amazing, and the noise? <laughs> no need for earplugs here, meaning golfers and wildlife are not bothered. You want to hear it start? Okay, sure. All right, so this thing's like... So you're going to leave your feet on, hands off of everything. Oh. It started. I think it could drive itself. Nice. It is started now. <laughs> so if we're going to raise our reels to, to be able to move, mm -hmm. okay. that's an electric component, electric actuators. That would normally be a hydraulic component that would do that. Okay. So now, literally, you can hit the... This pedal here, and you can reverse. This, oh, this one? Mm hmm Hey, if I can get the hang of it in a short time, there's hope for everyone. Here, golfers can enjoy the natural scenery and a variety of wildlife that can appear at any moment. Nesting houses have been installed, and over 200 native plants have been introduced as part of the course. Vegetation buffer zones capture and filter any potential runoff to protect the nearby lake. While the electric mowers certainly do a great job in keeping the grass neat and trim, an even greener way to go is to find ways to not mow at all. We've taken over 50 acres of highly maintained turf where we would be mowing every day, and we've taken those out and let them return back to a native state. It's areas that don't need to be mowed. With every acre that we have taken out of circulation, we've saved 147,000 gallons of water a year. That's in a 26-week mowing period that we normally have. And with our 50 plus acres, we're right at about 7.39 million gallons of water in a year that we're not using. Conservation efforts like that made Earth Day the perfect time to celebrate the work of Paul Carter and the Department of Environment and Conservation at Harrison Bay. When we talk about preserving and protecting and also providing uh, great recreational opportunities, they're so clearly connected, but never as clearly connected as they are here today at Harrison Bay. We think that this is a great opportunity to show the intersection between the parks and protecting our land and conservation with the environmental uh, regulatory programs and how we can think uh, about sustainable business practices that make sense from an environmental standpoint, but also really make good business sense. Every dollar saved by helping the environment is money that can be used in similar efforts here and elsewhere. It's a practice that's important to the department. There are no pieces of what the department does where a piece of sustainability can't be married into it, whether it's the regulatory divisions, whether it's state parks, whether it's building cabins. Sustainability can be brought in to all of that. And I think an important thing, and, and the commissioner touched on it, there can be economic vitality that's tied to sustainability. The two are not mutually exclusive, and it's better if they're not mutually exclusive. The things that we see out here at the golf course help the bottom line of this golf course. Toward the end of the Earth Day festivities, about 50 people walked along the tent fairway, braving a light rain while viewing firsthand the conservation efforts here. Their hope 
was to see the real stars of the day by looking up into a tall pine tree behind the number 10 green. Local residents that, thanks to a dedicated camera, are seen around the world. Oh, I see her. <laughs> I found both of them, the daddy and the mamas. We get letters and emails all the time from people who either have been here and are just amazed that an eagle will nest here on a golf course to people who will email in that they sit there and watch the webcam for hours. They're the American bald eagle. In Alaska, they are a lot more common than they are here, mm -hmm. but they're, they are really regaining their lost territory. That's our female, that's Eloise. She's 20% larger than our male, you know, that's an average size difference. The females are usually larger, a little more powerful. Rule the roost. <laughs> Visiting with Eloise the Eagle was a fitting end to a great day of celebration, proving that nature and recreation can coexist. <laughs>